once again on a controversial issue. The House has insisted that the district be forbidden to spend its own local funds on abortion services for local women, for local uh, women in the District of Columbia. The word, I, or the operative word here is local, and over and over again I will say local, local money, local women, no business of the Congress. I can understand the strong feelings on this issue. Indeed, I respect them. What I do not respect is your superimposing your strong feelings on a jurisdiction, not your own, on a jurisdiction over which you have no moral jurisdiction. And so, uh, despite the district's own view that our most vulnerable women need the same access to all reproductive services as other jurisdictions have, even if they have to spend their own local money, and they do, hundreds of them do, even if you're willing to spend your own local money, we're not going to let you spend your own local money. These people on the other side of the aisle, these Tea Party people who came here talking about federalism have been the first to violate the first principle of federalism. We're not here talking about local laws alone, my friends. We are talking about local money, money raised in the District of Columbia, not a penny of it from this chamber. By what rights do you tell us anything about how to spend that money, particularly when that money is spent legally and constitutionally? How do you square that with your Tea Party principles? They tried on another issue as well. We were able to salvage that one. For 10 years, this Congress kept the district from spending its own local funds on needle exchange programs used all over the country, albeit with local funds, because over and over again, in test after test, it has been found that well-run needle exchange programs keep people from spreading HIV and AIDS. In big cities uh, uh, where there are uh, uh, drug addicts, you will find that as many as a third of those uh, who contract this, this, this virus uh, do so through needles. And someone who has the virus then has relations with someone who doesn't but doesn't know they have the virus and quickly the virus is spread. It is important to note that every health organization and every scientific organization has recommended needle exchange programs as a way to control AIDS and they've done so based on the scientific evidence. Uh, down the road, our sister city, Baltimore, a much poorer city, has a better HIV AIDS rate than the District of Columbia because Baltimore has been spending its own local funds uh, the way most big cities have uh, for needle exchange now uh, for decades. Because we were a decade without the ability to do that, because somebody in this chamber decided they did not want us to do it, they took the lives of, they took the lives of residents of the District of Columbia and actively participated in the spread of the virus. Who are they to tell us in our jurisdiction how we must attend to the health of our own local residents. What do they know about it? By what rights do they come to the mandate
regardless of the consequences, to tell us or any other local jurisdiction what must be done or what we must do. Does the word democracy fall out of the English language when it comes to the people who live in the, in the nation's capital? How do we put it back in? Does the mayor of the, of, of the city, does, does the entire city council have to keep being arrested in order to make the point with this picture sent all around the world showing uh, what a lie democracy can be in our country? Well, if the 112th Congress didn't learn uh, that you don't raise taxes on the middle class, if they didn't learn that those who are unemployed should have unemployment insurance, I don't know why I expect them to learn uh, how they should treat the 600,000 residents who live in the District of Columbia. I see that I've been joined on the floor by a good friend and colleague, and I want to thank Mr. Ellison for coming to the floor and ask him and yield time to him at this time. Well, let me thank the gentlelady from Washington, D.C.